Protests erupted because of these two words. Not guilty. George Zimmerman was a neighborhood watch volunteer in his gated community in the southern state of Florida. Trayvon Martin was walking to his father's fiance's house. Zimmerman called police to report the black teenager as a suspicious person and followed him despite the police dispatcher's advice not to. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. The two fought, and Zimmerman says he shot Martin in self-defense. A jury acquitted Zimmerman of murder, setting off protests in many cities. The U.S. Justice Department is reviewing whether civil rights charges should be brought against Zimmerman. The Justice Department shares your concern. I share your concern. Hans von Spakowski at the Conservative Heritage Foundation used to work in the Civil Rights Division at Justice. He says the case should end now. If the Justice Department continues to pursue this case when he's one, been found innocent, and two, we know that there was no racial animus here, which is, which is of course necessary for a civil rights violation, that once again makes it look like politics is driving the prosecution, not the interests of justice. It's the best feeling in the world. Racial inequality in the U.S. goes back centuries. The country's civil war was about ending black slavery. But discrimination continued well beyond emancipation, and racial tensions still exist. My great-grandmothers, my grandmothers all marched before with Malcolm and Martin, and I didn't think at this age I would have to be going through this as well. Jurors say he's not guilty, so he's not guilty. Greg Carr heads Afro-American Studies at Howard University, an historic black college. One thing that is tangible that can emerge out of this verdict is a renewed commitment to uh, addressing people and not looking to the courts, not looking to the law to somehow uh, regulate or change people's hearts and minds. Carr worries if a civil rights case is filed and lost, it will deepen the cynicism of many. If it's won, he says Americans will only look to the courts for racial healing, not within themselves. In Washington, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.